How's it going, guys? In this video, I want to take a look at the trade that went down in the NHL yesterday. Arizona Coyotes trading Anthony Duclair and Adam Clendenning to Chicago Blackhawks for Richard Panic and Laurent Dauphin. So, uh, for this, as always, I have the trade of set to hard. I'm going to do the trade in NHL just to see what would happen, as well as give you guys my thoughts. Um, originally, when I seen this trade, I thought that Chicago got a steal here getting Duclair. And after looking into it more, looking at both players' stats, I still feel that way. Um, as you guys can see there, Duclair's got like 15 points right now in 30 games. Richard Panic also has about the exact same amount of points in the exact same games played this year. But Duclair's like four years younger. Um, Anthony Duclair's 22, and I believe Richard Panic is 26. We'll see here um, in a second as I add him to the trade. So Richard Panic and Laurent Dauphin. I know Dauphin was kind of like sick back in NHL 14. He'd grow to be like a 90 overall, but no longer the case. He's actually got slightly more value than Panic. And I'm pretty sure he's like the secondary player in this deal. As you can see, he's actually the exact same age as Duclair. And then Panic's 26, so four years older. Um, so defend here, like I said, kind of like the secondary piece. 22, 73 overall, medium top nine. Currently his role is a minor scorer. Second round pick, 2023, uh, making 745k for one more year on a two-way deal. And then Panic there is locked in at 2.8 for two more years on a one-way deal. And as you can see here, Panic's 26 years old, 80 overall. Also has me in top nine, rolls a third line score, also a second round pick back in 2009. And like I was saying right there's a look at his contract. So neither of those two players really have that much value. Chicago's not looking to trade them in this simulation, but I think Anthony Duclair alone will have more value. I could be wrong. I don't think so. Yeah, there's Duclair's value quite high. Um, as you can see here, 22 years old, like I said, same age as Joe family's 80, so seven overall higher. Uh, medium top six, opposed to medium top nine. Also has a third line score role just like panic third round pick in 2013 i think it was a bit of a steal there by new york before they traded him for yandel and he's making 1.3 million for one more year so chicago will probably have to give him a raise um after this year as well they threw in clendanning who really isn't much of a player at all uh basically just like a seventh defenseman probably just there for the roster spot as you can see 24 75 making 650k uh role there is minor top two potential medium 70 also a second round pick and then yeah 650k for one more year Really not that big of a deal, but as you can see, Chicago wants to declare the values at least double on Arizona's side. So again, I think I was kind of right in my assessment that uh, Chicago definitely got the better player in this deal. I'm like 99% sure this trade's going to go through, and as you can see, yeah, Chicago did accept it. So we'll try this trade now from Chicago's perspective, even though I'm almost 100% sure Arizona will say no, uh, just to see though uh, what their response is. One thing I wanted to mention too, apparently Chike had been trying to trade Duclair for a couple of years, and this was the best offer he got, which is really surprising to me. I feel like Duclair should have so much more value, but according to some of like the hockey insiders, um, they said that Duclair had like some behavioral issues, and that's why his value was so low. But even taking that into consideration, I still feel like Arizona should have been able to get more for Duclair. If I was an NHL GM, I would definitely be offering more than Panic and Dauphin, but uh, you never know, maybe there's just like more to the trade uh, than meets the eye. So we're going to add Duclair there, and then we'll find Clendenning, uh, who's going to be way down here apparently. Like I said, really just a roster spot, I think. You know what they say, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I have a feeling we're going to miss this shot, trying to trade for Duclair, uh, Dauphin, and Panic. And yes, Arizona rejects that, which is what I expected. I think a more fair trade, though, honestly, would be like Dauphin, Panic, and say a second round pick, maybe even a third. So we'll see what would get it done here. Chicago actually doesn't have a second. Well, they do in 2019. So um, I don't think the third would even be enough. The 2019 second, that actually makes it fair. And I feel like that would be a pretty fair trade if Chicago threw in a second. So we'll see if Arizona says yes to this, which like I said, would make more sense to me in real life. And Arizona still rejects with the addition of the second round pick. So in this game, Chicago definitely got the better end of the deal. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I agree with that. I think Chicago made out amazingly here. Uh, Panic was playing on the first line with Sod and Taze at the beginning of the year. Having a bit of success and since then just really trailed off. Hasn't done anything. You throw Declare on that line or a line with Kane, I think he'll have great success. And plus two with that leadership group, Taze, Kane, Keith, Seabrook. Uh, Crawford. I don't think any like those behavioral issues will really be as much of a factor as maybe they were on Arizona, a team last in the league. Uh, Shane Doan gone, not a lot of leaders. So I think this trade's gonna be awesome for Chicago. I still think they probably missed the playoffs this year. Uh, the Central's just too good and they're too far out of it, but uh, you never know. Maybe this will be a spark for their team. Would also love it to be a spark for some more trades before the deadline. Uh, the deadline's like about a month and a half away. Hopefully some more trades start happening in the coming weeks. Some bigger names involved. That'd be pretty awesome. And other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave the thumbs up. Let me know in the comments section which team you think won the trade. Also, if you guys aren't subscribing, should you do that. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.